and yeah, the, the Mar is also definitely good, annoying for these ranged carries to have to play against. Uh, not even so much about getting on top of her, but if you just put the arena down and don't have to care about where the drow is because you're blocking all of her shots, uh, that's that's pretty sweet. Yep, yeah. and coach misery getting to work. Yep. big brains merging together to create one giga brain to defeat Team Spirit. Well, you know, Team Team Spirit got a little bit of that of you know of their own going on. Silent looking like a very very capable coach, certainly. Uh, you could say that. Yep. Could say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone He's would. Got, would got argue some accolades. Too much. Yeah, trophy yeah. cabinet's pretty full. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. TSM. Just getting rid of the the visage so Team far. Marana also going to go. Okay, so they're imagining that this Drow Ranger is leading into some kind of like full Drow Ranger strategy. Though I have seen teams, and I think even the that game that I was talking about for Spirit earlier, there there were no other ranged heroes. There was there was nobody else to really remaining. buff up. Um, so I don't know if it's Five seconds necessary that they're going to grab something like that. Could just end up being kind of a, an entourage meat wall front line for the drow instead in this spot. Do you like a nice meat wall? <laughs> Delicious. I'm trying to think about it too much. Uh, <laughs> what has looked good for TSM? What have they? What have they won mm. with? <laughs> they have won two games so far. Uh, they managed to get themselves yeah. two draws um, today, in fact. So uh, versus Talon, their draft was the same opening. They had the Undying and the... No, I'm looking at Team Spirit. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wrong tab. Last series of the day. Hard to... Uh, yeah, hard, 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 hard to practice. this. Yeah, so they could... Uh, they had a... They had a Pudge SF in one of the games that they won. It was the... This was the same opening... Oh, actually, well, slightly different opening because they had the Marcy, but yeah, they got the SF early on. Um, the Pudge maybe seems a little bit tricky. I think you want something that can get in uh, yeah, on top of the Drow a little bit more convincingly. Yeah, Pudge v Drow is kind of like, if you hook her, great. If you yeah. don't, uh-oh. <laughs> and that's not, that's a hard thing to rely on, even even for a pro. That's a, that's a very unlikely thing to happen, unfortunately. Uh, in the other game they won, they did run a Morphling. Uh, that is still in the pool, so still a possibility, perhaps. But of course, Drow, very good against the Morphling, so... E yeah, running SF and Morph together seems uh, a little weird. You've already got your big range damage dealer. I don't really see the incentive to uh, snag another one here. Uh, so what else could we be looking at? I guess maybe like... Uh, some kind of PA or something coming out. Stick the, the Shadow Fiend in the mid lane. Uh, Bane definitely going to be annoying here. Team Spirit very, very good at utilizing the vision, especially at nighttime. Uh, their two supports have incredible laning prowess Ten now. So whatever uh, matchup they end up into against the, uh, against the off lane should be just fine. Marcy plus Drow, good. Bane plus Drow, also really good. Uh, Undying's lane actually looking like it could be could be pretty tough. We have even seen the Undying mm. if he ends up in the, the off lane. Kind of struggle against the Drow to a certain extent as Spirit are going to go in for this this long range damage dealers as they put the Lena and the Drow together. Team Spirits turn yeah, it's to pretty brutal. Then the Dawnbreaker comes out from TSM. All right. All right. Shaking things up a bit. I like it. Yeah, we've seen... Seen it work for Thunder. I don't know if there's been too many other teams that have been picking it, but definitely a hero that can get up in your face. Uh, if you can yeah. get into the Ags, that's going to be really, really nice to just lay down on, on top of the Shadow Fiend and protect him from all of this right-click damage coming in. Uh, does look like it's going to be... Actually, I'm, I'm not sure. Could could be Core, could still be Core and Dying, uh, and the Dawn being played as a support, but given the position that it's coming out in the draft, I kind of get the feeling uh, that it's just going to be that... Uh, that core dawnbreaker, and we do get yeah, the PA yeah, ban really from Spirit. The core undying, I think it's. I don't think it does well in the lane, and uh, the the dawnbreaker is nice and sticky as well. You know, it's going to stay on top of this Drow, which I think is really important. You can get the initiation, then you just uh, follow her around and don't let her leave the fight or stay there, <laughs> attacking your team by herself. I almost want to see TSM picking like 
maybe a pause to revenge or something here. I think we saw one game of that versus Alina in the LCQ, and it just looked great. Like these these heroes like Lena and Drow just do not deal with getting swapped. Um, and it's very, very difficult to itemize because you kind of need, a, if you want to block it, you're going to need a BKB and a Lincolns. Um, so it's it's tricky. But maybe not exactly what, what TSM are looking at here. I guess that would then have to be Pause 1 Dawn and uh, SF heading to the mid lane, which I'm, I'm not sure if that's what they're looking at. Maybe just leaning at the, the Dawnbreaker 3. That seems to be the read from Spirit as well, right, with the, the PA getting banned. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be. Though, I don't know, I, I still kind of feel like it's okay to put the SF safe if you want to, but... Yeah, I, I don't think too much. I don't think that's bad. Um, you would have to find a matchup that you're comfortable with versus the Lena at mid, which you know we we have seen Lena kind of be the the queen of the mid lane, especially when there isn't anybody to really come and gank her. Like the, the <gasps> exception in that last series that we saw was Boxy on the Primal Beast turning mid lane into very much not a one v one. And okay, the the centaur's banned, but it's not by Team Spirit. It's actually TSM taking off the cards here. They definitely need some kind of frontliner, somebody that can can go in and absorb some spells. Uh, they got damage in spades. They, they do not need any more damage. Yeah. Just need someone to go and give them the information. TSM yep, big tanky boy to shove on the front lines back. and uh, hold back hmm. the lines of TSM. Be a damage sponge and the storm now banned out. Okay, so Team Spirit, they don't really have a hard read on where this SF is going, and I don't think TSM are hard committed to where the SF is going. They are just Team looking at their options Spirit's and they will pick whatever they feel like is best for the job. Oh, no collapse Magnus today, <laughs> unfortunately. Think of a collapse hero. Uh Magnus. <laughs> okay, yeah. get get rid of it. Uh I don't know if I would have liked to see the mag that much here like it, it's an it's not a hero that wants to go in first or go in like frontline necessarily i really think they need you know something in the like underlord vein okay well this is this is kind of there god they have so much damage now so much. This is, <laughs> you get hit by the amplify and yeah you're, you're not gonna have a fun time I almost, I mean, this, this is looking like a very in and out kind of draft. You know, one of those ones where you're not really looking to take the full on 5v5 smash down engagement, but rather yep. play around the sides, you know, jump in, jump out. You've got the Marcy, you've got the Slada. You, you can kind of play around the fights a bit. It's all about basically just avoiding the Dawnbreaker and trying to kind of, yeah, outmaneuver TSM in the team fights. That's what this draft does. Hundred percent, because they don't have any big team fight ults or like cooldowns that they have to wait for. So it's it's all about abusing the move speed and the mobility to try and get TSM to press a button, like you now use the requiem or use the use the tombstone. And okay, <laughs> TSM, just gonna ask Tomato what is the one v five hero this game, and he will respond with the the Naga Siren. It can be really good against this kind of playstyle that we're talking about from Spirit. I just get the song, get the lockdown, take the team fight, and definitely good matchup against the Drow Ranger. Yeah, good matchup against the Drow. A little bit worried about the AOE stuns of Collapse, Toronto, Tokyo, and mm -hmm. Mira. You got three to worry about there, so no safety in numbers here for Tomado, but at the same time, definitely looks like a game which could be solo carried. The double anti armor strat with Brile also coming into play a little bit here. Also, you know, you can get off that song, Saberlight can come down and save everybody, and then Doobie can throw it on the tombstones. They, they've got a lot of setup, a lot of response, a lot of reset for these fights, which, as I mentioned before, about the kind of outmaneuvering that's going to be way harder now. So conceptually, yep. I think this Nagasaran might work out for them. Yeah, I like it. And his lane should be super free as well, right? It's, it's at least at face value here, it's an undying into double melee strength which we have, have not seen be very successful uh, or very fun. We saw that Brewmaster, was it, yeah, was it the Brewmaster Marcy lane that just got completely dominated by, uh, by the Undying? So we'll see if Dubu can yep. bring a little bit of that this game. 
Yeah, and I'm super interested to see how Team Spirit play it as well, because, you know, this is a big answer. As we said, they've got the reset button, so they're not just going to have to outmaneuver them. They're going to have to outmaneuver them and then outmaneuver them again and then outmaneuver them again, and it's kind of like out, out, out maneuver. I don't know, but Team Spirit can absolutely do that. They can absolutely play to that level, and of course, you know, all strategy goes out the window with a con uh, significant advantage coming out of the laning phase as well. That could also happen. There's a lot of variables in this game and a lot of ways that both teams could get the advantage over the other. I'm not sure I can uh, comfortably predict, but I, I, I am leaning TSM a little bit. I think their draft just makes a little bit more sense. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly on TSM just because I think the Slardar is so important for this lineup for Spirit, and I don't see him necessarily having a great start, which is really going to just slow down everything else because he is he's really the, the most important piece of the puzzle. Alrighty, let's get into it. Game number one in this best of two series. It is TSMFTX versus Team Spirit here at the TI11 group stages. A best of two matchup to find out who's going to get those all important juicy, juicy points. And like we said, TSM trying to ward off, uh, potentially even ward off elimination uh, at this point. You know, still a hope. It's still early enough that they could make it into the, the upper side of the bracket, but they are down there at the bottom of, of Group B currently. Yeah, a lot of Dota still to be played, don't forget. We yeah. are sitting on a 10-person uh, group stage, so... Well, 20-team group stage if you look at both groups, so... A lot of Dota still on the cards as uh, TSM come up the high ground. See Team Spirit. Team Spirit just going to kind of scatter and avoid them, though, so this uh, mob of uh, heroes just going to be kind of ignored for the most part. Yeah, they've got the bonus night vision on the Bane, so uh, actually yeah. he can he can see them while uh, they can't see him. <laughs> Dude, he's just like, mm, is he around here? I'm not sure. Uh, steps closer, Vapochka steps away, steps away, Vapochka steps closer. A little bit of a dance in the night time here between these two teams. They're going to go. Yep, Dubu actually overshoots it on Miro there, but is it going to matter? I'm not too sure. Dubu, not quite sure he's tanky enough here as he is just going to walk them away from the rest of his team to make sure he's the only one that goes down. Well, uh, another <laughs> another mid lane matchup, perhaps thwarted from being a clean 1v1 by Toronto Tokyo just getting the first blood. It's going to be pretty happy with that. And they get the D ward up on the, the high ground. Okay, that's a that's a rough start for TSM. Yeah, I think he might have uh, spotted that. Just noticed that he had a ward when he came back into the vision of the Bane. And it was no longer there. Bam, bam, bam. So, here are your lanes. We've got uh, Toronto Tokyo versus Bra in the middle lane on the Lena versus the SF. Going to be a slight advantage for Toronto Tokyo. Maybe turning into a fairly significant one with the first blood. So I think both of the side lanes should be wins for TSM. Of course, you know, Mira, as we're seeing, he can try and make a whole bunch of shenanigans happen. Does Dubu get him in time? He gets the range. It mid. Oh, God. He's able to bring him down. Bryle just chases him down with the triple raises. That is how you do it. Bryle bouncing out the middle lane the only way he knows how. How did that happen? Did you see that? <laughs> I was... Yeah, yeah, watching the whole thing. Oh, my God. All right. Just uh, try to stand there and, and, and dragon slave him down, but uh, yeah, bro, just uh, chase him to the end of the earth. All right, so much for your mid lane advantage. Toronto Tokyo only has two CS to his name so far. Gonna be pretty happy that he got that first blood so that it didn't get handed over to the, the Shadow Fiend there. Yeah, that's true. That's a, that's a very small silver lining. Is it? Well, at least it wasn't first blood, right, guys? Yeah. Damn. Ryle. I mean. This guy is a very old bottom lane. They move forward on Thrud Yatoro and they're going to be able to kill him off. Another one for TSM as they get things started in this laning phase. Top lane is not over yet. Collapse getting pretty low. Trying to fight up into Dubu here, but Dubu turning around. He's got all these mangoes and a fairy fire, so no chance of uh, him going down, actually, is in the bottom lane. It keeps on happening. Saberlight under the tower. Maybe he's taking a step too far forward here, but there's the tower aggro going onto the creeps instead. As in the top lane, Mira will fall, and Saberlight just about survives down at bottom. Not quite caught out by the multi shot off the drow. As, uh,. Well, <laughs> chaos in the laning phase right now. TSM coming out in this laning phase and just throwing haymakers. <laughs> like, 
absolutely going for it. I cannot believe that Saberlight is under the tier one tower that like two minutes into the game, but punishing this Drow Ranger pick super hard. Uh, Moposhi gets the level two now, so maybe they can do a little bit more with the Nightmare, but. Yeah, possibly. Uh, meanwhile, at top, Collapse and Mirror are just trying to kind of tag team onto Dubu, using that uh, sidekick along with the Bash of the Deep to get a bit of damage off onto the Undyne, but he just doesn't care. He's a big, big boy. Yeah, and they absolutely can't go for the Naga. You know, Tomato's sitting on 11 armor currently, and you've only really got physical damage other than the, the rebound. So, totally free lane for Tomato. Just going to get an enormous amount of farm. And Brawl continuing to make this mid lane look really good for Shadow Fiend. Uh, he's got more deny. He's got as many denies as Toronto Tokyo has lasted. More now. A little miss there on the uh, on the high ground raise for Brawl. So uh, Toronto Tokyo will be able to get a slight advantage back in this lane at least for now. This mid lane stressful. They're both, <laughs> both a little bit low. It's like a, a triple raise on one side versus maybe a stun and some auto attacks on the other to get the kill. Oh, he goes forward for the range creep. That might cost him his life, though. Toronto, Tokyo, he's got the sticks, but doesn't have the Dragon Slate for another one second. We'll chase him under the tower, but the one is there, or the fairy fire that was, sorry. As uh, Bryle keeps himself alive on the absolute precipice there. And it's down at bottom. Down he goes again. Poshka. Going on a merry walk with uh, Saberlight, and unfortunately meets the sticky end of the hammer. We talked about it earlier, but why did people stop picking this hero again? Good question. <laughs> it's uh, suddenly making making a comeback here in TI-11 groups. Yeah, it does work. If you can if you can dominate the lane like this, the hero just looks ridiculously good. And Yatoro, oh, how, how did he miss that silence? Well, he, he gets the other side of them on Saberlight. The silence, uh, the sleep will cancel out Saberlight's uh, Starbreaker. They will uh, put Yatoro to sleep. Mumiander going to break it with the Crystal Nerve. Yatoro gets a kill, but will be dying here as Saberlight now dominating here in the bottom lane. Meanwhile, up atop, they're chasing down Collapse. Dubu and Tomato get on top of them, bing down the fishy. And that is another kill for TS. Uh, my goodness, two to seven in this laning phase at the moment. Okay, Collapse does get kill credit for that one as, as Dubu dies to the tower. So, get, mm, getting something at the very least. Didn't wait long enough. I think Mira was off looking at the mid lane, trying to see if they could find a kill there, but Collapse getting punished super hard uh, for his Marcy not being there. Yeah, Mira trying to make the difference, but it's really, really tough. Moon Meander up, trying to come in on the side. Oh, Toronto Tokyo reads it well. Steps away and doesn't get caught in that Nova. TSM support's coming in. Giving a bottle refill, maybe a back rub, a high five. Anything that Brawl wants. The side lanes are doing fine. Uh, though, actually, while they're away, Tomato in some danger. Yeah, he's being chased down. I don't think he's getting out of this while Mirren collapsed. Got to get on top of him. Whilst the supports are away, the offlaners will play. And Tomato, going to lose his life up at top. Oh, trying to Tokyo wanted that 600 earn. He's going to be able to deny it over the top of Dubu. Okay. Nobody gets it. Poshka. Taking some hits, but also dealing some hits. Although he's sticking around for a very long time against uh, Moon Meander here. I'm pretty sure Sableye's just going to star breaker him down here. Yatoro already using the silence, so uh, no chance of stopping that one. But maybe Yatoro can get a bit of revenge. I mean, those frost arrows are annoying, but they're certainly not deadly. And Sableye, he's got himself a sacrifice, but it's not going to be enough. Or is it? Yatoro turning around and fighting, but he's got no help. No one's coming to help him out here. Starbreaker swings him down. And Yatoro. He is going to die in the bottom lane, my god. Sorry, 5-0-1 on yeah, no, this uh, Can't, can't wait, right there's now. still action on Dubu here. He's okay, get done. all right. Yep, being alley-ooped by Mira. One more hit will do the job. Collapse brings him down. Now it's going to be a kill going the way of Mr. Collapse. They're getting things started in the offlane here. Team Spirit are getting a bit of momentum coming back in their favor. Yeah, very important and that they're getting this. Collapse just straight rushes the Mask of Madness. Didn't even have boots. Still more action. Down in the bottom lane, yeah. Yatoro just kind of guns down Moon Meander as Maposhka makes a really nice little rotation in. Same like going for the TP, but the rebound there cancels it out, and they will be able to get Yatoro a bit of space down here in the bottom lane. 
And just like that, lanes that seemed like they were getting completely dominated by TSM do get turned around somewhat by Team Spirit. You know, Collapse yeah, is kind of no. looking fine. They've, they've salvaged bot somewhat. I was trying to punish yeah, Collapse actually, up top. They're going for it, yeah. And uh, they've got the uh, the Frostbite there to keep them solid. And Mumienda will be grabbing that kill onto the Fishy. Uh, but Mira also getting run down on the side here as Bra's going to be able to scoop up that one. So that's going to give him a little bit of catch-up gold, which he did actually need as he is starting to struggle in this mid. <laughs> 18 kills in uh, 8 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Come on, base skip. Don't let the tempo drop. Yeah. Jordan yeah. Tokyo moving on to Moon Meander. Laguna Blade comes out, but it's not enough damage to finish the job as Moon Meander trying to play around the vision. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Toronto Tokyo just eat the tree, and they will be able to kill off the CN as Brawl tries to pop in from the side, gets put to sleep by Maposhka. Which race does he have? He's got a long one if he can close the gap here on Maposhka. Oh, the one comes out from the bane. That'll keep him alive. Toronto Tokyo hammering down Tomato from the logo. Oh, Maposhka dares to come back in and gets himself killed off. Bryalt does grab that kill. Bottom lane now, Jesus Christ. Bottom lane now, save a light. I'm trying to chase down on Toronto Tokyo, but gonna be thrown around by Mira. Going for the TP out, and there is no cancel, and they don't have the damage. He's gonna get himself away. 20 kills. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, no man. I don't, I don't need to talk. This is uh, it, yeah. You, you this is all a free it, it, paycheck today. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all explaining itself. Uh, yeah, but if you switch it over to the net worth, as we see, a collapse is, is suddenly number one. Um, Toronto Tokyo, even with the that death, still doing fantastically on the Lena. Hasn't been getting too involved around the map, but they just pick up that kill on the CM, and it it seems like somehow Team Spirit just stick in the landing. Uh, even after the way that the beginning of the landing stage went. Yeah, quite the tumble they've taken, but somehow, as you say, end up on the crash map, feet firmly planted. And uh, Mira, even going to go forward here onto Bryal. LSA comes down as well, Laguna Blade to finish the job, and that is a dead Shadow Fiend. Mavoshka already looking for more, but Dubu wisely backing himself away, but this leaves the tower undefended, and Toronto Tokyo going to blast out a ton of damage onto the middle lane here. Yeah, it's feeling confident because they had a ward on the high ground, but Mposhka and Mira just happened to be on the other side, and they get the, the Nightmare into Dubu as well. Yeah, drag back. Toronto Tokyo lands the LSA. Collapse dying, though, up on the top side, but it is Dubu that will fall over towards the mid. Uh, elsewhere, it does look like it was the first usage of the Solar Guardian uh, to turn things around for Tomado as they throw out the ensnare and uh, get the catch on to Slada. Yeah, I clicked on Saberlight earlier, and it was, it was on cooldown, so I think that might be the second, but yeah, still... Very nice, it's going to be important that they start, like, kind of parking the Dawnbreaker. Uh, oh, Toro. Uh, yeah, this this feels ambitious. He has got that silence to come out, but uh, when it ends, Tablelight going to try and run him down. They have got the ultimate on Moon Meander, and no hesitation for him to just drop down those icicles onto your Toro's head. They do lose the mid-tier on tower, and Team Spirit going to waste no time coming to see who's home here in the dire jungle, checking out Tomato if he's farming. Uh, the, the Naga doesn't want to be taking Ancients just yet, so ideally this is really where she wants to be sitting and uh, absorbing all of this dire jungle farm. Maybe switch over to the Radiant side now that they're muscling down this tier 1 tower at bot. Uh, and it is still going to be somewhat tricky for Team Spirit this game to get out on the map. Right? We haven't even we haven't had a chance to talk about like Naga Siren split push, uh, Dawnbreaker holding a lane. Going to be important that the Sardar gets his blink. Maybe they even get a Shadow Blade or something on the Lina, and that's kind of how they can punch through the split push from TSM. Yeah, that's true. These lanes are going to be shoved in all the time. It's going to be very hard for uh, TSM. To really control, uh, sorry, really hard for Team Spirit to really control the map for too long before they have to come back and deal with things. So I imagine we'll see probably a pretty quick boot to travel on Toronto, Tokyo at least. Maybe Dyer's even. Uh, He's rushing BKB some other heroes. currently. So they, they, they feel like maybe their timing is a little faster. Maybe try and take an early Roche with the, the Corrosive Haze, something like that. I was wondering if there was going to be any adjustments to try and like plan for the Naga. You know, we have seen a couple of uh, Maelstrom Linas. There, there is, I guess, always the potential for the Drow Ranger Ags, though it, the, the build just doesn't look very good. Um, I think buying all these defensive items is probably better. Like, plan for the Naga. You know, we have seen a couple of uh, Maelstrom Linas. There, there is, I guess, always the potential for the Drow Ranger Ags, though it, the, the build just doesn't look very good. Um, I think buying all these defensive items is probably better. 
Yeah, yeah, it's uh, always a bit awkward to go for the drow eggs. I mean, it, it does help you farm, but that's about oh. it. And collapse, game caught. Yeah. We'll cancel out the ultimate from Moon Meander, good. but... Um, he's fast. Actually, he's pretty quick. I'll drop the tombstone down. I need a zombie to spawn, and uh, that's not going to happen. So collapse, just waddles away. Easy peasy. Just managed to clip Moon with the, the edge of that crush, and that keeps him alive. Yep. All right, now, now that he's 100% sure he's safe, it's, it's time to chat wheel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you're clear first. I wouldn't want anything embarrassing to happen. Yeah. So it's not just a full farming build for Tomato. He's picked up the Yasha, but he's actually going to be going back for a, a pretty quick Orchid this game. So it does want to have that little bit of extra threat. Maybe kill whoever is trying to hold on to the, the bottom lane while he's down here pressuring. Uh, I, I kind of like this, really. It shouldn't affect his farm rate too much, um, and having that little bit of extra kill threat should be pretty big. Even just saving yourself, right? Like if the the Marcy comes jumping in on top of you, maybe you can get the the Orchid off. Gives you the opportunity to get the song and get out. Yeah, certainly an option, Tomato. I mean, and, and you still think the Orchid is fine for farming with on this here? Yeah, I think it's fine. You farm so fast, just naturally with your your illusions and your your Riptide. Fair enough. Both could meanwhile being a very, very annoying speed bump, which uh, TSM keep kind of flying into and then being bounced off the road. It's very, very hard for this uh, for this Dawnbreaker to close the gap on anyone whilst being put to sleep all the time. The Pushka, very on the ball. Yeah, it, it's tricky. They want some kills, but they don't really have a way to lead them, so they instead of somebody running in and the Dawnbreaker kind of coming and getting the ulti, Saberlight's having to go and look for this action himself, which is not really how you want to be playing the Dawnbreaker, necessarily. Yeah, and he's going for the Crimson Guard, so he's going to pick up an incredibly early Crimson Guard here on Saberlight. Uh, give him an extra damage block. I mean, uh, I guess it's a nice alternate answer to the Drow. Uh, damage block instead of armor. Because the drow just penetrates straight through that anyway, but then again, it only penetrates base armor. Right? Yeah, it gives him some plus armor, and it's going to make the supports a little bit more durable against. Uh, th there's, it's just physical damage really from Team Spirit, right? Sure, the lean has got a, a little bit of nukes, but uh, it's all you need to itemize against. Uh, I, I like this from Saber. I think he could have considered like a halberd or something as well. Might even still see that a little bit later on, though. Uh, maybe starting to think about like the blink and the shard uh, from this point. TSM very clearly making a statement here as they uh, demand the middle tower off of Team Spirit. There is a bit of counter push going on from Collapse, but not much. They're not really doing any building damage with this one. And Bryal, Sabelite, Moon, and a couple of Illusions will be able to take down the middle lane. Oh, Crystal Moon gets a last hit. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice for Moon. It's just working on some drums. So they, they do kind of have two position fives this game as Maposhka going to spot them once again with this night vision rotating top sees them they don't see him he knows where the, the rotations might be coming he's making a nice little safe pocket for collapse to farm in they'd like to make a play top but can they make anything happen bottom lane's already getting shoved all the way into the tower mid lane's about to reverse and get pushed back out as well so not too much of a window before this becomes very obvious where they are on the map. Yeah, <laughs> look at the look at the square drawn from Moon Meander. It's like, guys, I think I know where they are. Yeah, and he's right. They're in the pit right now, actually. And this is very interesting. It's just mirroring collapse right now. Yutsura will come across as well. TSM are gathering in the neighborhood. There is. They're not to seem to be aware of this. This is just going to straight up be a Roshan taken from the side of Team Spirit. TSM just not really clocking it here. And you're sure going to pick up an Aegis. I think they'll be kicking themselves about that one. I, I, I don't think TSM knew. Yeah, wild that they can just walk in there against the Naga Siren. And look for a turnaround on Turn to Tokyo. 
Yeah, a bit of an overcommitment as Ryle well. considered going for the Requiem, but they're unleashing the damage now onto Sabelite. Sabelite trying to stay alive, will back himself away with right clicks in from Alina, and that's going to get that kill. Requiem comes through, they'll look for Mira. Mira, rebound not available, so she is going to fall. Aposhka as well, a couple of slaps from Briar will send him to the grave. Follow it up with a uh, raise for good measure. Song on the sidelines here. They find the lead. Wait, she's just died. She's come back. She's going to die again. Tomato goes blender mode and just churns up poor old Toronto Tokyo. And that's just going to be the ages. No, no, it's on Oh, no, it's Toro. It's, it's Toro with yeah, the ages. Good, 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 right, good, good, good. right. That makes more sense. <laughs> but yeah, he... I was like, damn. <laughs> Took them so long to get through Saberlight. He is just so beefy. He's even got another buckler on, on top of everything else, and they get kind of baited into the tombstone and just can't escape from, from that point. I love the way that Tomato is playing, right? He's not just sitting back in AFK farming, he's coming in and really making great use of this orc. I think he even picked off Collapse uh, on the side here. So, yeah, they come in, they reset away, they pop all of their damage, and yeah, Collapse was looking for plus one, but actually just gets turned around on. Yeah, and Yatoro gets knocked down to the low ground with the zombies upon him as well. Just really feels like he can't come back into that engagement. Yeah, we said it had to be kind of in and out from Team Spirit, right? They, they can't fight the big team fight buttons. It's got to be pick yeah. off and then reset with rebound, reset with your guardian sprint, um, kite back to some vision, maybe look for another pick off if, if TSM split up too much. I, I don't think that even with the Aegis, they can win these uh, head-on 5v5 clashes. Yeah. And uh, maybe wishing they gave the Aegis over towards Alina, but then again, yeah, she maybe. just died, died twice there, 100%. There was no way she was getting out of that one, so... Could make an argument about being able to save BKB, but ultimately, Yatoro gets out, and that's what they needed on Team Spirit, just not a full wipe, but... Man, Tomato, he is getting big. Yeah, he's huge, and a lot, I think a lot of this gold is coming from the fact that he's just coming in, getting involved, getting kills on big heroes. Uh... And this is like by far the most active Naga Siren gameplay that I've seen. He's on the hunt again. Yeah, the early Orchid doing the work. Collapse, getting caught out here by Moon Meander once again, letting it go. Orchids in, damages there. Bro gets a kill, and they will take over the biangle off the side of Team Spirit. Another beautiful circle drawn <laughs> by Moon Meander. Quite the artist. This is ours. We, we, can, we can be wherever we want on the map. It's. Yeah, Team Spirit just can't seem to really get the, the ball rolling, even getting that free Aegis. Seems like it's just going to end up being a, a little bit of farm. Maybe things change a bit when they get the BKB on Collapse, but... Very weird back and forth. The, the Lightning Stage was a total disaster. They recovered that, and now we're, we're drifting back into what can they do territory. Radiance uh. Middle Tower is under attack. Sableye does have to be a little bit careful down here at bottom as Yatora is searching for him. Sableye running through the trees, multi-shot will be off the mark, and that should mean that Sableye gets out to safety. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Ryle, he's just giving this tower a tickle, but his tickles are one of those tickles which sort of hurts more than tickles. Yeah, it's a, it's a competitive tickle. <laughs> but... Well, this, uh, they're just getting aggressive ranked tickling. Yeah, they're getting... Oh, getting jump here. Can I should go? Yeah, but in comes Saberlight trying to save the day. Throw closing the gap here onto Yatoro, trying to force him back out of the fight and making sure he just can't sit. Look at Saberlight, literally just zoning out Yatoro as Mirror and Collapse just die on the front lines here. Bryl and Tomato doing the damage while Saberlight doing the zoning. That's exactly how these fights are supposed to work. And it looks beautiful from TSM at the moment. Yeah, they can't fight the, the five-man, but they also can't seem to break out of the split-push hold either. Um, I, I don't know what you're supposed to do, really. Uh, Toronto Tokyo is trying to pick up a Shadow Blade, so maybe they can yeah, stick him together with the support somewhere, get a pick off on the sidelines, so sidelines can open up the map somewhat. But this, this Naga Siren is really putting pressure on them. It looks so good. The perfect pick. He has been doing yep. everything this team needs him to. And looking so comfortable whilst doing it as well. Yeah, it seems, I, I don't know uh, if I've ever seen Team Spirit so <laughs> like so stymied when it comes to being able to move on the map. They're always finding these like random pickoffs, smoking into exactly the right area. But 
what do you do when Naga is pushing two lanes and the Dawnbreaker is is camping the third? It, it's just impossible to get your lanes past the river. Yeah, I feel like Teen Spirit maybe could have moved a little bit harder onto Saberlight because that's always used to be the way that people would answer the Dawnbreaker. Right. You go on the Dawnbreaker itself and all of a sudden Saberlight won't be able to TP in and save his team. And his team's not going to be able to all TP over and save him, so... But that hasn't really happened from Team Spirit. And to be fair, Sableye's made it very difficult. He's playing extremely defensively. He's not down this bottom lane at all. He's just sitting under towers, sitting in trees, and playing extremely carefully as Toronto Tokyo forced to put the BKB up at top. Yeah, Tomato's just walking up with his illusions and be like, oh, don't worry, guys, it's just a, it's just a stack of illusions. And suddenly the net comes flying out. Toronto Tokyo being forced to use that. They are trying for that play that you were talking about on Saberlight. He's tanky. Yep. He certainly is, but the silence is there, but the team is coming. Will they be able to get some revenge? A Saberlight It's not even dead yet, actually. He's going to be able to survive through this one. Mira's the one who's going to fall on the side. Meanwhile, Toronto, Tokyo, and Maposhka just going to leave. They needed more on TSM there, and they Black just did not have it. It's not over. Oh, Bryalt taking heavy hits on the front lines here. It's Yotoro from the trees is trying to find a bit to this no one. Way. Now trying to get the TP away. Can they get the cancel? They can't. Out goes the, the drow. Collapse does get left behind somewhat, but great little play there from Yatoro. That's going to bring down the Shadow Fiend. This no one way. now trying to get the TP away. Can they get the cancel? They can't. Out goes the, the Drow. Collapse does get left behind somewhat, but great little play there from Yatoro. That's going to bring down the Shadow Fiend. Uh... <laughs> I don't know how Team Spirit made something out of that situation. It looked pretty disastrous. Saberlight is just so tanky. Dawnbreaker is, is looking very thick. And at least they managed to yeah, bail out their Drow well, Ranger. Right? But Tomato's just running at them. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I don't know if you meant to net that creep, but okay. Just, just kill it. Pretend Radiant's it didn't happen. It's fine. Yeah. See, just look at Saberlight. Puts down the the Wraith Pact. The Wraith Pact, yeah. Yeah, and he he, yeah, he goes to ulti out. It gets silenced, and then he just runs back in on top of Moon Meander. It's like, save me with the ulti, please. Yes, He's fine. Hug the Crystal Maiden, Mother. Protect me from the bullies. But beautifully played by Team Spirit to bail out the Drow Ranger. Looked 100% dead. Collapse, you know, sacrificing his life to get this kill and get the the Drow out. Yeah. As every good off as well, I was, I was just saying how good it was that the the Dawnbreaker was staying alive at the bottom and then gets caught, but doesn't get caught, lives. And um, Poshka got to get the rebound buff to get himself away. Turns into a very speedy Bane who can float himself to relative safety. But it does mean that uh, TSM are controlling this area of the map and are likely to start barreling down this top lane next. Although Rushan respawning any minute now. They don't know exactly when. It will be quite a long respawn. But that might mean that TSM show a little bit of hesitation. Yeah, and you have to imagine that that Roshan's going to end up in the hands of, of TSM. If they give another one away, I think that's really a, a blunder, right? When you're, you're talking about, you've got, you've got the split push and the map presence superiority. You've got the Naga Siren. It, it should be kind of no contest for Team Spirit, unless they're able to find a pickoff beforehand. That's what they're looking for here inside of the, the Russian window. They do have an Observer Ward that spots Tomato. Tomato does get jumped as Collapse comes down as well. Uh, the Amelia save coming through from uh, Sableye. Absolutely zero hesitation. Now he sees his best friend trying to stay on top of Yatoro. As on the sidelines, Mira does get away. So again, just a bit of posturing. And yeah, this is it, right? Like Team Spirit. They can't really hold ground. That's the problem. When TSM turn out, they just have to try and back away and find another way to enter the fight. And that is not easy at the moment with an 8k gold advantage. Yeah, it's hard to find these immediate pickoffs when the, the Dawnbreaker ulti just comes in immediately. Uh, all of the cores have defensive tools. Oh, and they spotted Mira on this high ground ward that they have, so just trying to catch him. <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh, another kill for Moon. Love it. Yeah, I think Moon tried to play yeah, dumb a little bit there. Uh, since they had a really good idea of where he was, but I think it was like, oh, what do you know? You just happen to be here. Please don't go and check my high ground for that ward. Uh, a true support, protecting his wards in every way he can, even yep. employing a bit of acting. 
Uh, okay, so still 30 seconds to Roche. Team Spirit are trying to create little pockets of farm <laughs> on the dire side of the map because they're, they're not really yeah. allowed to play on their side currently. I like that little outpost. You know, they've, uh, yeah. they've created sanctuary. Our Earth is no longer safe. We had to move out. If, if you guys aren't using your base, can, can we have it? Dyer's <laughs> 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 Trade, swap sides. Uh, swap these, yeah, we, we, we'd be happy here. It looks great, lovely home. But it's TSM, roll it down the top lane at the moment. They don't care that Roshan is about to spawn or has actually already spawned. They'll take this tower, they'll punish the side of Team Spirit for not occupying their side of the map. And now into the pit they go, and are met by a big scaly man who has a nice little present for them. Yeah, I think they might. Might just give this Aegis to Bryle. He's he's more of the siege, and he's actually more of the hero that's likely to actually die. The the Nog is yeah. very difficult to go on. The Dawnbreak is very difficult to go on. Yeah, Shard as well going to Bryle as well. I'll just give him everything. Yep. There you go, Mr. Shadowfiend. Hit some buildings, Bryle. Go be confident. We, we, we got your back. Your team's behind you. On my in Toronto, Tokyo. He's going forward here. Ooh, not sure about that. Net comes out from Tomato. Immediate BKB comes out from Toronto, Tokyo. And I don't think they have that. It, it's close. <laughs> oh my god. The blender. <laughs> yeah, good thing you didn't press the dagger of Ritzel. Uh, so could have, could have made the difference there. Yeah, absolutely. They, they are having to play this to the the absolute limit, right? Just try and get out on the lanes and buy time off of this Aegis. Don't let them come and just hit your high ground. Oh, Mira again. Yep. Same ward. Okay, this time around, there's there's, there's no pretense from Moon Meander and Dubu. Uh, hop away on the rebound, but they are right the way on top of Mira, and that Marcy is going to get turned to dust. Another one picked up for TSM. They're just trying to get out on the map. They're just trying to push out waves, but that just doesn't seem to be happening. TSM so in control of this game that Team Spirit, they, they just have to play like... Like rats in the walls of the TSM house, you know, just running out and nibbling at the cheese whilst TSM are looking away. And every time they get caught, it's a, it's a nasty little trap. Yeah, the, the biggest play maybe available to Wiposhka here is actually trying to cancel <laughs> the Dawnbreaker ult from the other <laughs> side of the map. Uh, yeah, some, some tips towards this Naga Siren. Yeah, well, uh, Tomato's got the axe, and uh, right. Did you trying to ring in the drow, but it was an illusion. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> a bit sad. Uh, channeled for the full duration, you know, we're really committed to that reel. Have you ever seen the, the reel in, like, look amazing? I mean, he's, he's doing it now, here we go, Whoa, dragging it back! amazing, base skip! Well, <laughs> Toronto Tokyo dragged back into the tower enemy team, BKB popped, and he's gonna get himself away. But that's a BKB charge used for basically nothing. <laughs> Top barracks to full here, Team Spirit. Their home is starting to get ravaged by the side of TSM as they just move themselves across. Objective based gamers looking to drown TSM out of this game. Yeah, bottom lane's also good. an option. There's a tier two over there. Uh, how do you fight? I guess you have to wait out Aegis if you can, but two minutes feels like a very long time at this point for Team Spirit. And some of the problem that we're seeing is that it, in a lot of ways, the, the Lina and the Drow, their, their fates are just completely entwined this game. If things have gone well, we would probably be talking about, oh wow, Drow Aura uh, on the, the Lina, how good does that look? But Instead, it's both of these heroes just getting absolutely yeah. face-checked by, by TSM in every fight. Yeah, and I love how uh, the Drow is at the bottom and, and Sableye literally just throws a hammer at her. Yep. Just, just throws a hammer at your Taurus. Get, get out of my get lane. Out of my get lane. lane. You, you can't kill this Dawnbreaker. Sableye's running around with 2.6k health and uh, 36 armor. So... He's, he's, he's double layering on the armor, both a Crimson Guard and an Assault Caress. <laughs> Very chesty. too much army, can barely move. <laughs> Dyer are scanning. Ooh, well, <laughs> trapped inside your base. 
Oh, damage. Well, damage coming through onto Bryle. Bryle needs some help here. He's actually going to drop. That's going to be the Aegis gone. And Sableye comes flying down from the sky. Looking to get on top of Mira here, but also taking some heavy hits. They're going to use the Song. They're going to chase them back now. BKB targets looking a little bit vulnerable. They try to set up with the Requiem. That's what's going to happen. Glap spikes with BKB and jumps in and stuns him up. We run away from Bryle here. There comes a grip out onto Dubu. They'll go for the easy target to Sableye bouncing around the side, but it's also going to fall. Requiem comes through. That'll allow them to clean up collapse, but Moon Meander has gone down. Team Spirit looking for more. Toronto Tokyo under the cover of Ivis trying to chase down Tomato. Tomato, he needs to leave, but I don't know how fast he can get out of this one. I guess I it's, oh, it's a convenient hey, history. Buddy. Yeah. Oh, lovely stuff. Yeah. Dang. Team Spirit making something out of that situation. They pop the Aegis. They manage to draw out the, the, the Dawnbreaker ulti. They get the reset. Uh, they save their Drow Ranger on the high ground, who doesn't have BKB, right? So Collapse absolutely had to uh, jump in here and make sure that they interrupted the Requiem. This is the, the kind of in-and-out team fight that we were hoping to see from Team Spirit. With the, yeah, for sure. Yeah, two big range scores finally able to stand and deliver some damage. Such patience from Collapse, just sitting by the Tier 4s, reading how this fight was going to play out, but finally his BKB runs out and Brawl's able to turn on him. Uh, TSM just a little bit too far ahead. Yeah, but honestly, the big saving play there was from Collapse getting on top of uh, Bryle yep. and uh, stopping him from getting off that Requiem. You know, that that was the moment. Um, maybe a slight misread from TSM, you know, not really clocking the Slardar there properly, but... Yeah, I think they lost track of where he was. Um, just kind of able to reset back, go and wait out the, the Blink cooldown. The thing, this, the, the, the radius of the song just never feels quite long enough, does it? E, no. It, it, it's visually weird uh, as well. And the, the Immortal makes it also kind of tricky to spot. Uh, okay, so it seems pretty... I mean, they're getting some more items up after this this last little bit. Toronto Tokyo. I, I don't know if he can really man fight, but he, he is going for the Satanic here. Might help him a little bit. I mean, you can man fight in a vacuum, but that's absolutely not the game which TSM are trying to play. No, no. And yeah, even Saberlight going to be going back for the the Halberd now. So lots of items in between, but still very, very good against the Drow and the Lina. Yeah. And even Slaughter, stop him getting off the bashes in crucial yeah. situations. Yeah, it just, it it's stops like you, one. it stops you getting to use the Satanic as like a second BKB. Because if you've already used your BKB, you're just going to get disarmed. Oh, great point. Uh, it's TSM looking to control this Roshan area. I mean, they, they, they keep checking it, but it's not going to be up for another minute at least. Yeah. Do they not Broken have the watches. timer? Oh, Collapse immediately jumping in forward here. Going aggressive and might be regretting that one as Bra just start taking chunks out of him, but the rebound comes through with the BKP. Uh, might give him the space he needs to get away. Tomato trying to land with the ensnare, but he's actually already used it, but the right clicks are there from Bryle, and they do have the damage to bring down Collapse, so punished for his aggressive movement. Maybe should have blunk away there, but uh, clearly not expect the entirety of TSM to be up in the area when there's no Roshan, so... Broken Watch is OP, I guess. Th they do have to keep making these plays, right? <laughs> the only way that they're going to be able to to win a fight is to, like, jump in, poke, get them to use their BKB, hopefully run away just with all of the move speed, and TSM trying to shut that down, you know, picking up the Blink Dagger on the Shadow Fiend, giving him a little bit more chase. Uh, the Naga's got a Blink Dagger picked up as well. So they're, they're thinking as well, okay, what are Team Spirit trying to do to us and uh, how are we going to try and head off their, their game plan? Yeah. I still really want to see a song into Requiem. You know, it used yeah. to be such a common combo. Yeah. Uh, haven't haven't gotten to pretty. see that here. Just, just, just do just it when like, they've GG'd or something. It's yeah. Just, yeah, just yeah. one at the end. Just, just at least one. Just a... Show us that you've got the coordination, <laughs> TSM. Yeah. Have you been practicing? The the one that used to always stand out for me was the uh, song into Elder Titan Ulti, right? That was like, that was the yeah, team fight combo a for for a little while. Certainly was, yeah. And that was back when uh, Naga Meteor Hammer was a, a bigger thing. Yeah. Oh well, no, yeah. I think. Yeah, and, and Naga was playable as a as a support as well, which has not been a thing for a while. They have. Well, I say that, but Sammy Boy. <laughs> he's yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's carrying the something. torch for it. Yeah, yeah. Still, still believes. 
Okay, so a lot of the uh, analysts didn't believe in it. Um, some saying that uh, the Naga support was not good, but, you know, I, I, I liked what I saw of it. But anyway, that's not this game. What's in this game is Roshan being taken by the side of TSM. Team Spirit. I don't think there's much they could do about that. They do have a smoke loaded up on the Marcy, but getting over here in time is just not feasible. Aegis going over to Bryle. They've got themselves a refresher shard on the SF as well. So uh, two rounds of BKB, two Requiems if needed. A lot of damage going to be able to pump out off this Shadow Fiend. But uh, it's all right. actually showing in the middle lane here behind the smoke team. I'm so surprised that Team Spirit of Darren's come out of their base. This is a bit of a challenge from them. Yeah, just trying to punish and see if TSM are not playing cleanly uh, after this this rush. But Song? Tomato's Afro looking. Tomato. Oh, he's gonna find oh, he actually, one. Actually, the TP got canceled for the Drowsy Toro. Just got to run for it. They don't. They haven't spotted. Yeah, him. didn't didn't spot the Drow. So Yatoro, squeaky bum time for him. But it looks like I don't walk back into them. I scanned him. Oh, they got him. There comes the net, and comes the Solar Guardian as well, crashing on down on Toro. He turns around with the silence. There's nothing he can do about this one. This is a dead Drow Ranger. TSM catching them out. Beautiful song from Tomato. Just turning the game absolutely on it. Well, it's already been won by them, but this might be the end. Yeah, they're, they're, they're stuffing Team Spirit in the locker one last time here. <laughs> I don't know how they break out onto the map. They managed to get mid lane out a little bit. They do have a double damage on Collapse. What can he get done? Well, let's see. It's, uh, wow. Jesus, what happened to that bait? Maposhku just annihilated off the face of the earth. Gonna buy back into this one. Save Light and Bryo. Well, they're actually uh, dealing some damage into Toronto Tokyo now as well. He's got the Satanic, but he's barely healing through the damage which Bryo is dealing. Keep these LSAs coming on out here just to keep himself healthy, but. They can't get anywhere close to the bulk of the TSM lineup. Toronto Tokyo just has to stand and watch. 30 seconds still left on the drought. TSM, they want to finish this one up. They want to get those Mega Creeps and they want to get out before that happens. Middle lane being taken on down here. Bryo just slapping away. Oh, beautifully done there with the Hurricane Pike. Blasting back the Marcy who tries to jump on top of him. Keeping that BKB calm and collected. And TSM are going to be able to take every single barrack away from Team Spirit. Victory feeling imminent for the Americans in this game. Just beautifully played, really. Lane's going fantastic. Uh, hitting their timings. I'm so impressed with the way that Tomato's played. This Naga Siren's been super cool to watch. Just picking up the, the Yasha Orchid and kind of running at them in between between farming, not just sitting back AFK. And oh, maybe we can... Uh, well, do they even need to use the song if they've got the Arcane Blink? Maybe, maybe it's just a Requiem. Uh, we might have two. Dream's dead. He's got a Refresher Shard. Is that is that enough, Nomad? Is that cool? Uh, is that is it all right? It's not what I wanted, but uh, I'll take it, okay. I guess. Okay. Let's see a nice, cool a nice cool front page of Reddit ending, please, Bryle. He's going to blink the Blancs. Let's go. Nope. A lot of play potential here from TSM. That, that just kind of, it kind of feels very luxurious for them. They could just kind of run around, look for their entry point. Oh, is this the area we want to initiate on? Eh, maybe, maybe, yeah. Mirror's looking kind of tempting. A little bit of dewarding on the way in. Now they move forward onto Marcy. Marcy has a BKB, so <laughs> TSM fine with that. They're just like, okay, we'll, we'll pop a BKB for free. All it cost them was a swift blink. It's like, Yutora, do you want to press your BKB as well? <laughs> so, nope. Got the man, so. Okay. Uh, Toronto Tokyo. Oh, he's being reeled in, and here we go. Bra trying to bring it down, but the BKB is there from the leader in time. And then the other side comes down onto the Shadow Fiend, but the song holds him still. Mira is going to be the target. Right clicks come through. One, two from Bryle. He now looks towards the towers. Net comes out onto the Slardar. He's caught a fishy. And oh my god, the slab's coming out from Bryle. He's just absolutely slapping him down. Tomato as well. The blend they're coming into Yatoro. Yatoro got to keep his distance here. Buyback from the Slardar. They'll see what they can do on the side of Team Spirit, but it seems like not much. They'll try and close the gap onto the Sable Light. It seems like an, a reasonable target here, but in comes to Bryle once again, blowing up the Lena, staying on top of him and tearing her apart. Buyback again. Yatoro fighting. They've actually managed to isolate Tomato here, and he is going to fall. They lose one. Can they lose any more? Toronto Tokyo chasing now. They're going to try and get some more, but uh, 
Jesus, Moon Meander just gets torn apart. These heroes, when they do get on top of them, just absolutely melting. Saberlight gonna die as well by the looks of it. A few more fireballs coming out from the Lena. Bring down this uh, Saberlight Dawnbreaker and uh, Steam Spirit. It's a hold. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's a it's an exposed ancient, but never say die for Team Spirit. Still working on this, you know, Drow Rangers picking up the Mjolnir. Uh, it hasn't been very easy to leave the base, but they they do repel TSM at the cost of uh, two fairly hefty buybacks. If, if either of those two heroes die at this point, it's going to be going to be tricky. Yeah, Collapse not even using the BKB on the first life here. Knew that he was going to have to to buy back at at some point. I'm just getting kind of chain stunned into oblivion. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tora doing a good job resetting. Once they came back and they got that that corrosive haze on the Naga, uh, they actually did a lot of damage. Uh, Tomato suddenly disappearing in the midst of all this. Yeah, like when, when they isolate targets, they can just absolutely melt them, even the Naga Siren, as you say, but. It's the isolation which is a problem, you know, there's so much other stuff to get through. The team has to be distracted to killing someone else, so that's where the buybacks come into play. That's what buys them a little bit of space, but with the Mega Creeps, the space ain't gonna last for long. Their face is getting flooded as we speak, and they'll have to get themselves back, at least on uh, one or two cores. Yeah, another, there was a cute attempt from Aposhka to try and interrupt the Requiem from the Shadow Fiend, but the Arcane Blink just made it come out too fast, and so it act the Requiem actually ended up cancelling the Fiend script in, in the middle of all of that. Which was kind of unfortunate. Right. I'm gonna refresher on Toronto Tokyo. He's been able to sneak out onto the map occasionally and, and grab a little bit of farm. He doesn't have buyback, so it's two BKBs, two Satanics, and a rapier queued up in the quick buy. Team Spirit are gonna make TSM close this one out. They are never say die. Yeah, if if they get there, that's a problem. He's he's got to farm a rapier, and uh, yeah. I think Roshan can spawn. They can take it. They can take the Aegis, and they can come and end the game before he's going to get that rapier. I I would think. Yeah, I I imagine so. Collapse like, somehow found a little creeps. pocket of farm out on the map. He's just chilling in the the oh. enemy ancients. <laughs> he's been been working on a moon shard. Taking water. All right. Fair enough. Stay hydrated, everybody. You guys as well, all of us. You know, I'm, I'm going to take a drink as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a sip, Screw everybody. It. Stay Let's hydrated. Go. Together now. That's how you mentally stay, and you're like, look, I'm going to have to play this game for another 20 minutes because we're going to win, so I, I, I better take a drink. <laughs> yeah, that's a statement, isn't it? You know? <laughs> Hope you guys aren't getting, aren't getting thirsty, because we're certainly not. We're going to stay here all day, TSM. You're never ending this game. Yeah, what a confidence play. Oh, oh God. <laughs> they scanned him on the cliff. No. <laughs> no, he doesn't have five back. <laughs> Collapse. Oh, no. A BKB, blink away, TP out. The song is there, but the net. Oh, nothing but net from Tomato <laughs> landing on the Collapse. This guy doesn't have a buyback. He's going to fall. Right. Smoke out immediately from Team Spirit. They know they need to make a play here, but Moon Meander, he's in the area and is keeping his distance. Oh, they see Bryle. Oh, that's a big one. Now, we'll come down with the Solar Guardian. There's going to be enough. There's so much damage pouring out from the Drow. Unfortunately, that Heaven's Halberd is just there a little bit too late. So, they do make the trade here. Team Spirit. They needed to make a play, and they, they do manage to do so. Meander and Maposh go, oh, what? Oh, what? oh, okay, all right. Just just, just sing it out. Just, just just sing it out, Moon. It's fine. Four staff then, then got four staff back, and I think that was also a uh, uh, psychic, psychic headband, headband yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. The, the timing almost made it look like Bane had like a hurricane pike, and I was like, what is what is going yeah. on there? But <laughs> yeah, not, not quite. Well, you know, Collapse Hold gets a water break, Brawl gets a water break. Uh, <laughs> rush on in a minute and a half. So hydrated. LGD got a uh, water break earlier as well. Able to mm -hmm. drink up liquid. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. That that's what was in the coconuts. This whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Sucking away. All right. Uh, well, Roshan gonna respawn in just about a minute. That'll give them time to get Bryle back up and fighting. He can come back into the engagement. Also some buybacks to farm on TSM as well, so they'd probably like those before they go for another another push. Meanwhile, they'll just keep catalyzing upon the money that's coming in for them. I'm shocked that Team Spirit have been able to keep so many wards on the map here. 
<laughs> Reel him uh, into the illusions. Oh, man, hey. Mipochka. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so say goodbye to your gem. Yep, that reel in. Do it, do it work, to be fair. Uh, Yatoro, hello. This is an interesting place on the map for him, and he's going to be able to TP out. The net doesn't quite connect. Ooh, <laughs> Team Spirit just playing on the edge. I mean, it's only a CM kill, but... You know, it's all right. Just, 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 just making, making them sweat, constantly making them doubt themselves. There's pesky D Ward, four stuff down again. TSM just control up the Roche area. That is the only objective right now. They don't need to be worried. They don't need to be concerned. Team Spirit aren't actually doing anything beyond keeping themselves in a very, very lost game. Ye Let's be real about this. Uh, yeah, it's it's very much like, hey guys, end the game. Just, just do it. Uh, they, they have dragged it back from a 0% uh, win probability for them. It, it was 0% wow. a little bit ago. They're, they're all the way up to 5% now. So what, oh. whatever they're doing, the algorithm is is believing in it. And we doubted the, the rapier was going to come out from Toronto, Tokyo, but he, he's accumulated some net worth here. He might even get to have another buyback. Uh, we'll, we'll see, though. TSM, another Aegis in hand. Yeah, and Yatoro going to be able to pick up a uh, Aghanim Scepter as well, so, you know, we talked about it earlier on. Great answer to the Naga Siren, great answer to the Mega Creeps. Um, it's something. Does, does, He's got 9k well, gold, yeah. oh my god, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright, buy back and then some yeah. on Yatoro. He's been sitting here hitting Creeps the entire time, 600 CS. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Yatoro could uh, open a trust fund if he wanted to. So what do we have on the side of TSM? We've got Bryle, who's just got a, a whole basket full of items, including a Refresher Shard, an Arcane Blink, and an Aegis. So he's able to come in, land the fireworks, bring them down. Uh, Sableite hasn't actually had any item progression since we last saw it. He's got, got himself a Blink Dagger now. And uh, two cheeses. Two whole Delicious. cheese, yeah. Um, it would be nice if he yeah, had an eggs at this point, but I'm preferring to give it to the, the Shadow Fiend. Oh. Gonna have to execute it's two whole cheese, yeah. Um, it would be nice if he it's had an eggs at this point, but I'm preferring to give it to the the Shadow Fiend. Oh. Gonna have to execute a team fight to to close this one out. <laughs> team Spirit making him work <laughs> for it. Ah, Team Spirit are happy, you know, they just they just yeah, you, you may have out outdrafted us, but can you out team fight us? This is the, the yep. real question. Patience is real. And uh, let's see, any, any, anyone got eyes on Nalina's courier? Oh, when they get the grip. Commitment, but they get the grip. Yeah, there's a song coming through to cancel that one out, though. Bryal, is he going to be able to survive through? It looks like he just about is. And they'll turn it around onto Yatoro. He is dead. Immediate buyback from him. As on the back lines, Bryal just going to use the Requiem to keep them away. Toronto Tokyo, though, tearing Sableye apart. He's going to be the first casualty for TSM. Can they push through for more? Yes, they can. Stun Island to Moon Meander. He is gone. Solar Guardian coming through to bring Sableye back into the fight. Mirror is going to be able to dodge the impact damage. And Sableye is getting gunned down again by the looks of it. He is coming out from Dubu. It's a a big Soul Reapers Bryle jumps in, looking for the targets here, trying to bring down the Drow, but can't connect onto him. So instead, we'll move towards Collapse. Collapse is going to lose his life here. Does not have buyback available on the Slada. A thousand gold off, but Toronto Tokyo is still fighting in the front lines here, looking to gun down Bryle. Sableye's still alive in this one. They will get the disarm mounts. They will bring down the Lina. Mira gone as well. What's left in the tank for Team Spirit here as they go from the post on the back lines. Bryle so low as Toronto Tokyo try to take hits at him, but he's held still by the net. Another net comes on through refresher bkb not enough coming out from the leader the g's are dropped the game will go to tsm at long long last tomato doing it in the end kills a drow for the second time gets the die back and that that was that was all that they needed uh <laughs> team spirit it's their last series of the day i guess why oh, not they were really, ready look yeah force three bottles of water on the desk <laughs> really force tsm to to close it out that was a fun one.